Coming up on the 25th anniversary of the last day since Bethlehem Steel fired up the furnaces, former steel workers were invited back today to share in some nostalgia and make an additional mark on a preserved piece of history. WFMC's Holly Herrer has the story. November 18th, 1995 was the last cast at Bethlehem Steel. To commemorate the occasion and those who dedicated their time to working there, the National Museum of Industrial History invites back former steel workers now 25 years later. It was a dirty, dangerous job, but uh, it was enjoyable. I was proud, yes. It was a good place to work. Some men spent nearly their entire career there. But it wasn't about the work. It was about the people they worked with who made it so memorable. They all had their characteristics and stuff, their nicknames. And uh, they used to call me Scroby for short. I was here about 40 years for Bethlehem Steel. And I was one of the last ones in Martin Tower that uh, locked the door, so to speak. Mike Zaya spent time admiring a steel beam removed from the wreckage following the implosion of Martin Tower last year. It will be kept safe at the museum, where signatures of former workers are now etched in for eternity. Seeing the names that are on here that I knew very well, some work for me, and being in this building because this is where I started. It's where they started and where it all stopped that fateful day in November. A reminder to appreciate the opportunities life throws your way. When you start it there, it seemed like it would last forever, you know, and uh, you never thought like one day it'll be, you know, gone. Holly Harrer, 69 News.